Hi, I'm Nayeli Hernandez and I will be doing this week's video announcements. To start off the week on Monday the 8th, we will have a Buckaroo Baseball scrimmage versus Early there and both teams will be combined and they will start at 4.30. We will also have a regular school board meeting at 6.30. And on this day in history, in 1627, gunpowder was used in a mining operation instead of mechanical tools. This took place in present-day Slovakia and was reportedly the first time explosives were used in mining. On Tuesday the 9th, we will have Buckaroo Basketball versus Nakona there, so check the calendar for the times. We will also have a Lady Buck Softball scrimmage versus Comanche there. Varsity will play at 4 and JV will follow at 5.30. Later that day, we will have a PTO board meeting at East starting at 6.30. And on this day in history, in 2009, 30 mummies were found inside a 2,600-year-old tomb at Sakura outside of Cairo. The tomb was discovered at the bottom of a shaft, which was 36 feet deep. On Wednesday the 10th, we don't have anything scheduled, but check the calendar as things can change. And on this day in history, in 1763, the Treaty of Paris was signed, ending the Seven Years' War between Great Britain and France which doubled the size of the North American colonies, which decades later, later became the United States of America. On Thursday the 11th, we will have a college student athlete and recruiting workshop for high school and junior high. This will be from 6.30 to 7.45. And on this day in history, the very first hospital in America opened in Pennsylvania in 1752. It was called the Pennsylvania Hospital. The germ theory wasn't known, so being at a hospital at this time was very risky. For example, doctors didn't know to wash their hands before working with patients. On Friday the 12th, it will be a teacher staff work day, so there will be no school for the students. Sorry teachers. We will also have JV and varsity softball scrimmage versus Stephenville there. JV will play, play at 5 and varsity will play at 6.30. We will also have Buckaroo basketball versus Bowie here and it is also senior night, so please check the calendar for the times. And on this day in history, in 1809, Abraham Lincoln, who became our 16th president in 1860, was born. Lincoln was known for ending slavery and was the first president to be elected from the new Republican Party. On Saturday the 13th, we will have Buckaroo Baseball at home versus Jim Nett. The games will start at 12 and proceed one after the other. We will also have a boys powerlifting meet in Merkel. And on this day in history, in 1973, Elvis Presley became seriously ill at a Las Vegas concert and was quickly helped by a physician whom he later gave a white Lincoln Continental in appreciation. I'm checking the mobile web to see what events we have coming up. On Wednesday the 17th, we will have a special FCA youth rally at 7 p.m. taking place in the Fine Arts Center. And on February the 25th, we will have our Buckaroo Relays taking place at South Elementary. And we also have two special BISD school board meetings. So please check the calendars for the days and time. I want to wish everyone a great week and go Bucks.